Hello, 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 all my machine heads, and welcome back to Metal Girl Farm Extended, the life of a dairyman. And it's time, it's time, we're finally ready to do some contracts for some money, so we can start making some money. All our fields are taken care of. As you remember, the last episode we left off, we took care of our stuff off this trailer, and on our way back from plowing, we picked up a plowing contract. I'm going to put this in here so we're gonna take our ford and we're gonna head on down and we're gonna head over to field 22 let me show you where our contract is field 22 is right here right right on the other side of our uh, field grass field so we come out of the thing boom boom, boom. we're gonna plow us in it's 2.16 acres we'll use our own equipment so we don't have to go down to the store or anything like that and Tomorrow, it is now 11.01 on day two, and when we get one more day, we're going to then start mowing. We're going to mow field 17 and then field 15. So let's, uh, I think it's in this one. Yep. Let's head over to field 22. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing a great, I'm doing awesome, I'm doing fantastic as usual. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the Realistic Farming Channel for Farming Simulator 19, where we use our real equipment, we use our real tractors, we have our realistic tutorials, and we have a real lot of fun. Sorry about the, uh, the lack of video yesterday. I posted my video on Saturday, but did not post a video on, no, I posted one on Sunday, but I did not record one. Uh, as I told you guys back on Rusty Acres, I was going to, I don't record anything on Sundays anymore. Sunday is my family day, so I will post a video on Sunday, but I won't record one. So this video is being recorded on Monday. Uh, where do we have to go? I think I have to go here. Uh, it's being recorded on Monday for release on Tuesday so there won't coming going forward there won't be any Monday videos at all so it'll just be when I post for Sunday from Saturday's recording it will take us until Tuesday it gives me all day Saturday or all day Sunday where I don't have to worry about well, we know how to get in there we got to go this way start my timer I don't know why I'm opening the gates reversed there we go this little baby right here is what we're doing right I do believe this is 22 and yes it is it's gonna be quite hilly but I don't know how much of it we're gonna get done but we're gonna work on it and try to get it done Never been on this field once, so this is going to be excruciating going slow again. <laughs> we haven't gone plowing in what seems like forever. And we're off. Make sure we're doing the right field, and yes we are. We're actually using our subsoiler instead of a plow. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for uh, liking and subscribing and uh, watching the video. So it makes me happy. Can I go all the way to the end of that? Yes, I can. I don't know why there's a space there. Weird. Yep, there we go. And we're off. So, two weeks left, everyone. Two weeks, two weeks until Farming Simulator 22 drops. Now, probably, I think I've made a decision after talking with the family. Uh, Farmer Z will get a kick out of this one after having a long discussion with myself. <laughs> That's a shout-out to you, Farmer Z. Because um, he laughed the last time I said that. He was the only one that got the joke. 
Um, I think what I'm going to do is when Farm Sim 22 drops, I'm going to pick one of the maps that they have and start a Let's Play on that one just to get a feel for the game. Um, just to go what we can do with that sort of thing. And I'll do my regular Meadow Grove farm at the same time for 19. Oh, I want to check something. Obviously, we could have just came straight down. We didn't even have to go out that gate. Straight down here. So I'll have to remember that. Let's see if I... Yep, it gave us one little strip. <laughs> uh, this may be a while. Maybe a couple episodes. But the nice thing that they did do for um, Farm Sim 19 as opposed to 17. Like 17, you had to stay on a contract till it was done. Couldn't leave, couldn't take care of it. You had to do the contract till it was done. This one gives me the opportunity to do the contracts whenever I want. Like, So if we do this for an episode and then we get through a day or it takes us whatever and it's the next day. And we know we got to mow tomorrow. So... We can then go ahead and mow. We can come back to this anytime. This one is just to try to make some money, try to keep busy. Because um, we've monkeyed around. We've got fertilizer. We've got seed. We've got lime. Uh, we've got everything we needed on the farm as far as equipment right now. The only thing left that I need is a baler and the wrapper that goes on the front of the, or the back of the tractor. Uh, I'll show you which wrapper. I, when I get down here at the end, I'll show you what I bought uh, I think I've showed you guys before it's a little handheld uh, it was on the three point hitch on the back of the tractor and it uh, allows me to wrap and then put the bales wherever I want as opposed to the 3135 uh, that hooks to the tra or a baler that hooks to the tractor now I had thrown it out before uh, for everybody um, now the next couple of headlands I'm going to have to stop and come back uh, about what kind of map you guys want me to do for Farm Sim 22 when it comes out um, I, I don't know I think if I'm going to continue to do this one uh, for a while this will be my small map uh, fields my small fields map I think I want to go back to a large field one just so that we can get a variety uh, so that like this one here is this is really quickly becoming one of my favorite maps um, It gives us the opportunity to use some smaller equipment some smaller tractors But then when we get into farm Sim 22, I think I want to move up and like I I've done so many times on 19 I think I want to move into some bigger equipment and give the people who enjoy the bigger fields uh, the ability to watch some of that stuff, too so I also think yeah, that's the sort of thing. Um, I think I, I researched it quite a bit, and the Seasons is going to be included in Farm Sim 22, which is absolutely great. But the clock speed has got to be adjusted to whatever Seasons we decide to run. I think I'm going to still try to go at real time, uh, because one day equals one month. So that would be pretty much three-day Seasons. Um, because I think... Uh, like sometimes I go back and forth everyone I, I really do I go back and forth with my ability to keep the series moving so that it feels like we're moving and staying true to my channel which is the realism realistic, realistic channel sorry um, too many times I've gone my time lapses when I was doing those and the only reason I started time lapsing was because uh, the wife and I were sharing a computer at the time but since then, she's done bought her own computer, uh, and she's on her own with that. She does her work from home. Uh, what is that called? Remote, remote working, something like that. So she does all that stuff. Um, so I can record any time. But I, I've grown so accustomed to the uh, working in, uh, recording at night that I'm going to continue. It's just quiet. I like it. I can put my little sports on, sports center on or movie on or something in the corner and I can talk to you guys at the same time and I don't have to worry about uh, my noise gate or anything, noise gain. I don't have to worry about picking up anything because it's quiet. 
So I'm going to continue my system where I record at night. So I don't, like, I'm torn because um, when I was doing the time lapses, I could record them whenever, and it was great. I, I had so many videos I had. Uh, you know, you record one, a couple hours later you can record another one. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, but it got to the point where I didn't feel like I was being true to the channel, um, to my, what's the word I'm looking for, my vision as far as the realism. As an ex-dairy farmer, I wanted to keep it as real as I can, realistic, and teach and teach and teach, and you guys all know that. And this series here, playing real time, playing real farmer, you know, it's given me the opportunity, as you can see, real speeds. We're going at 2.6 miles an hour. Um, that's real. I mean, you probably go even less. Uh, but truth, and you know, I'm keeping myself true to what my vision is for this channel. So I don't want to get, but then part of me, in my old wisdom brain, says, oh, okay, we're 25 episodes or 26 episodes in, and we're only on, you know, day and a half into the life of the, the videos. And like I've told you guys before, when I was explaining about, like, on Rusty Acres and things, I was explaining what, like, I watch everybody's videos. Um, and I do. And they, some of the people, they speed up time, and it, I don't know, it just kind of gives me a weird feeling. So I'm torn. You know, part of me wants to uh, stay true to my vision, and part of me wants to keep this, like, I almost... Almost, I'm not gonna lie today. I almost uh, picked up the video or the game and played for like two or three hours off camera just to move it ahead. And I literally was probably five minutes from making that decision. And then, uh, you know, the wife told me, she's like, nope, nope, nope. You've wanted this realistic channel forever and you wanted a running clock forever. So that's the problem. You watch other people's videos. And the thing about it though, what I what I think I'm enjoying the most is, believe it or not, my channel is absolutely unique as far as other people play super realistic and that's, I watch those guys, I watch them all uh, and some guys fast forward time but where mine is unique and this is what I've enjoyed the most is the running clock, basically wherever we left off is exactly where we pick up so it's, it's a true story mode where you guys can follow along and pick up and have input on what we should do for the day and all that stuff. It's great. And that to me is what makes the channel uh, unique. Is the fact that we're, we are absolutely wherever we left off. So, you know, you guys can thank my wife on that one where she she talked me out of it. Because I was going to do it. I was going to say, I said, because I was looking at my videos and I thought, okay, episode 25 or 26, whatever we're on now. And I said, we're only a day and a half into the game. And so in two weeks another 14 15 episodes that we do every day um we might be on to day three but then again i didn't start the series until late this map just the extended version just came out like two weeks ago or 25 yeah 25 episodes i did the my first episode on it the very first day that it came out let's see how far we're doing oh look at us go look at us go um so it, this part, that's the only thing that kind of stinks a little bit about Farm Sim is some of the greatest maps don't come out until it's getting ready to end. That's why I think I, for a while, I want to continue with this series and try to get at least through a year, a full year. Um, if we're averaging, we average, remember my videos are right around 30 to 35 minutes long. So we're averaging two videos an hour and I play for 12 hours, so uh 24 more episodes will put us into day three and then we'll be or put us through day three which will then put us into summer uh and we'll go from there uh i don't know i just i also don't want to do the whole dropping two three four, four videos a day i think it's too much i think one video a day is perfect it gives everybody a chance to watch it uh, gives every, I think sometimes I think I want to go a little bit longer without loading up. I want to go every other day, but I want to get as much Farm Sim 19 in as I can before we end it. 
So this video is basically, we'll, we'll do this together. We'll continue this series on 19 for a while and I'll pick one of the maps. I don't know how many maps are gonna come out first. Uh, and then as we get going, we'll, uh, we'll pick a map that's an American map and we'll do the American map, we'll do UK map. And if Farm Sim 22 is as good as what I'm hoping, keyword is hope. <laughs> I do remember Farm Sim 15, Farm Sim 17, Farm Sim 19. There's always the growing pains, there's always the issues. Right? I remember when they first dropped this game, there was all kinds of issues in the beginning and people were mad and people didn't want to play the game. And um, So you gotta expect that. Oh, I don't know why I just did that. These are going to be my headlands. So I'm also expecting that too. So that's what we'll do. We'll keep this one up. I'll keep posting. And now we'll, what we'll do though is when we set it up, I'll do one Farm Sim 22 and then this one. And then Farm Sim 22 and then this one. So this one will have to be every other day. Uh, because as I told you guys before... I really want to start streaming more. Now the cool thing about streaming is that I can stream for like two hours. And then if it's every other day, then now we're going twice as long. Instead of in two days, I get through an hour. In one streaming session, I get through two hours. And plus you guys get to join me. Which would be kind of neat. But other than that, Fury Machines, the same old, same old as everyone else does. We're all living the dream. We're all doing what we do, but, you know, thanks for understanding, though. I think I explained it before. Uh, and then I kind of went back on my word a little bit, and I was releasing videos every single, 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 single day. <laughs> uh, but the wife kind of put her foot down and said, you know, you had promised your viewers and your subscribers that Sunday was going to be your family day, and... I started making plans and I started doing this and you know how it is. Those of you who are married out there, those of you who are have boyfriends or girlfriends, you know it's not. Sometimes you just gotta do what they wanna do. <laughs> uh, I love the life I'm in though. I'm so blessed. I can't get over enough of like I you know when you work for your uh, your whole life, you grow up and you're working on a farm and you're a farmer and you're a farmer and you're a farmer. And then you go to college and you go to college for the computer graphics and that sort of things. But then you come back and you don't have any jobs at that. You end up doing construction and you start out when you're like, you know, 20, 21, 22 years old. Next thing you know, you're uh, moving up in the world and you're a manager at said construction company. And then you end up buying the company because you've made enough money and you, oh, so I've, I've had, a you know, Life is never turns out the way any of us want it anyways. But I am super happy and super blessed with my life. I can't I can't complain. I really can't. You know, and then 25 years goes by and you own your own construction business and you've probably hired and fired more people in your life than you've ever did working for people. <laughs> you look back and you think, "Wow, you know, how many people have you met over your life and then sports and oh, I tell you. It's been great." And then you find yourself on YouTube, and you find yourself playing Farming Sim every day. Um, and I do play other games, hence Fury Machine Gaming. I play other games, uh, but a lot of people don't like them. Like, I'll, I, I own probably 50 games on this computer, uh, but when I put a truck sim video up or something, I get like two views. People don't, I don't know, it's just I don't have enough viewers for it, so... I stop and I get frustrated. I was doing Skyrim videos there for a while, and uh, oh, what's the word? What's that? World of Warships I was doing, uh, and then I did a couple of uh, multiplayer games of Fallout 76 for the buddy of mine. But uh, when I got done recording it, it didn't come out. The quality didn't come out very good. Right, so now we're gonna start heading down to the other end of the field because these 
Look at, look at these ugh, trees. <laughs> It is nice to go back to uh, realistic sized field, or not sized fields, uh, shaped fields. Oh, I tell you, the, the square fields are nice. They, I'm not going to lie. But just look at, look over, I can, I can keep going at two miles an hour, but look over the edge there and, you know, the how realistic this feels. It fe really feels like you're up on a hill plowing. Uh, square fields are nice, like I said, and you get spoiled with them. You know, like No Man's Land, you know, uh, it was absolutely fantastic. It's a great map. Alien Jim is a genius. Uh, some of the maps and stuff he's done over the last couple of iterations of Farm Sim have been amazing. But you find yourself making, like, square fields, and you're like, okay, here we go. And you got, like, 300 feet turnaround, and you can get the giant equipment, and it's great. But this map and maps like it... Um, What's the Oxygen David maps? Oak, or not, is it Oakfield Farm? What's the one that's the Oak one? I can't remember now. Uh, and then you got uh, Shamrock Valley. And the one thing I can say without a shadow of a doubt is that the UK maps, the map makers out there, the detail in these maps are absolutely disgustingly awesome. Um, you know, you sit back and you think, yeah, as much as I don't like these trees, it it just makes it feel real. And the American maps, like uh, Bucks County, I was telling you guys, County Line, Flint Hills, those are uneven sized fields, but the Flint Hills is more or less square fields. And I don't know, I'm not from the Midwest, so it's hard for me to talk about other areas without... Um, you know, seeing them. Like, I don't know what, like, Nebraska and, o and Ohio's fields are like. Maybe they are square. I don't know. So it's hard for me to say, but generally when people make uh, American maps for farm sim, it's all square fields and big giant fields and big giant equipment. And as fun as that is, that's great. It doesn't feel like Look across this map. I mean, it just feels real. It just feels real. So, this is my challenge to you map makers that are subscribed to me. And some of them aren't. Some of them just watch my video. Let's make us an American map that feels real. Um, you know, if you guys want to make specific, like, um, what was the one? Uh, Susquehanna Valley. Okay, Farmer Klein did a Let's Play on it, Multiplayer Let's Play on it. Several people have done Let's Plays on it. I live about 20 minutes from Susquehanna Valley in real life. Okay, so Susquehanna Valley, we played against them in football. We played against them in basketball. They were in our division. Uh, and many, many, many friends of mine were farmers from down there. Um, and it, like I said, it's literally, I can, I can get there by car in 20 minutes from my house. That map maker, that map looks just like my home. The only reason I didn't do a Let's Play on it was because there, were, at the time that the map came out, there literally was probably, I, I'm going to be gentle and say there's probably like 30 YouTubers that were doing videos on uh, that map. So, the other thing that I, it, uh, I didn't want to do it on is because it was a it's a ginormous file okay so the amount of my like, I mean I have six terabytes of, of memory that doesn't scare me but um, when the map is like two gigabytes three gigabytes you start to go to yourself all right so am I gonna have problems playing this and I kind of let people play it out I kind of let people do what they needed to do and get it out but that's guys get a chance uh i'm not quite sure who put it out uh i will research it and on tomorrow's video i'll get the answer for you uh go check out that map because it really represents where i live because it is where i live 
uh, Georgetown, the map Georgetown. I'm about an hour and a half from Georgetown, New York. Um, so, but Susquehanna Valley, and I laughed because Farmer Klein, he always mispronounced it. He was saying Susquehanna, Susquehanna Valley. <laughs> and it's actually Susquehanna. Like, I always would get on his streams and be like, uh, Farmer Klein, it's Susquehanna. It's like banana. Um, their colors are dark blue and gold for their for their school colors. Um, so if you get a chance, check out that map. Uh, download the map. Play it. I would suggest, though, to have a little bit more powerful PC. It is definitely not out on console. Um, so don't... It, that's not going to happen because it's got mods included. It's got... Um, some fermenter silos on it and it's got some mods on it uh, uh, the Rasnik uh, compost maker it's got on it but there we have some fields where I'm at in the upper east coast here um, that are absolutely ginormous as well but there we make fields here uh, in New York that's where I'm from is New York we make fields in New York that look like this, like wherever you can plow without hitting a tree or a rock, you're plowing in your field. <laughs> that's just, the, that's the way it goes. So the fields are not square. The fields are not, uh, they're not even, they're rocky. We have really, really hard pan soil here. Uh, so we would have, so, so I'm excited in a way for when uh, FS22 drops because one of the things they, got, they have is a rock picker. And I thought, now there's been a couple people that came out with some mods uh, that were, you could pick rocks and stuff, but we actually had a machine that picked rocks that you'd go through the field and it would hook to the back of your tractor. It was like a giant lawn sweeper, um, except it was heavy duty. It was like solid steel and you could you drive along and it would pick up all the rocks and then you'd go to the edge of the field and you jump, drop them off. And then you'd come through with your bucket loader and load them up if you, if you wanted to. Otherwise, like, it is very common from where I'm from to go through a field. And over in the corner of the field, you got a pile of rocks. Uh, and some of the rocks are absolutely ginormous and some of them are small. So, in a way, I'm kind of excited for them to bring that up. Uh, bring that into a game because that's super realistic. Um, so that's, that's exciting, but we have, uh, in my area, we get a super, super, super ton, a lot of rain, uh, probably an average of probably six to eight inches of rain a month. Uh, we have a couple of, like, it's weird because we'll go like in like June and our, our spring and summer and fall are weird here where I'm from because we get everything's behind half the time it's so weird it's like it's supposed to be like rainy like you know the old saying goes is April showers bring May flowers so your spring starts out in March in April okay it's supposed to and yes it gets warm but it gets muddy everything gets muddy and, ugh, and just looks gross um, but then all of a sudden about halfway through April or May you'll start getting like 70 degree weather 80 degree weather 90 degree weather like this last year um and i told my wife i says i'm glad i'm not on the farm because this has been a weird season so we get a lot of rain in april probably get about 20 days of rain out of april for the most part like six eight inches of rain for the month which is quite a lot so the grass starts going nuts then it starts to get hot and it was absolutely weird it was like end of april beginning of may and we started getting like 85 degree weather and that's normally for us in like july so then june rolls around and june rolls around and it turns like 95 like i opened my pool this year in june and i never never ever ever open it much before july 4th uh because i've made that mistake where you open it in like may and it stays cold you know uh, Memorial Day, I think, is when we open it. Usually, we used to. And then you open it, you open it, you open it. It stays freezing 
all the way up until like July or August anyways. Um, and it's just a pain in the butt to swim in because it's like 58 degrees in your pool. So you're like, this sucks. Uh, so the last probably five or six years, the wife and I haven't opened the pool before we open it on July 4th. So we got all of July, all of August, and then September usually stays really warm. I swam uh, probably six or seven times in September. And then I swam twice actually in October. And then by October, probably 10th, we close it down for the year. So our pool stays open here from, we have all of July, all of August, all of September, and then a couple, two, three days in October if you're lucky. And then it drops to like 60 and the pool starts getting so cold that you can't swim in it again. But I remember back when I was, a, when I first bought this house, um, that uh, we used to open it in May, like April and May. But this year's just the weather has been absolutely weird. Then July hit and we had a washout, like complete, complete and utter washout. We had like 18 inches of rain for the month of July. We had three or four hurricanes hit us. We had uh, just it rained and rained. And I was keeping track. I had like a white bucket, you know, one of those little five gallon buckets, buckets. I had it outside and I was keeping track of how much rain we had. And it filled up and overfilled. So, and that can fit 24 inches in it. And it just overflowed. Now, granted, a lot of that was uh, because I did never empty it. You know, it just kind of kept going and going. And then after a while, I just gave up emptying it. And then now it sits full frozen <laughs> because we're in November now. Um, but we're still getting, it's weird. Now, here's the thing. Okay, so then July washed out. And then August hit, and we got super hot again. We got, like, in the hundreds. And it was great. I mean, you're swimming every day. You're doing it. Air conditioning's going nuts. But then in September, we start getting a bunch of rain. It drops to, like, 40. It's crazy. And then we hit October, and it was, it's was it been, like, 65 to 70. And today, when I went for my jog, you guys, because I told you guys I, went, I started jogging again, it was 65 degrees, November 8th. And it's 60 to 65 degrees out. Um, last year we had a, on Christmas Day, well, actually two days before Christmas Day, we had a 48 inch snowstorm. And then Christmas morning we wake up, it's 65 degrees out and it all melted. And we had flooding. Now I'm going to go a little bit longer today and I'm actually going to finish this field. Because uh, normally I'd be wrapping this up, but we're, as you see, we're only like a couple passes from this field being done. So, but uh, yeah, so I'm, like I said, last year it was absolutely weird too. The weather has been going screaming weird. And so, like I told you guys earlier, you know, I had the discussion with my wife. If I was still farming with dad, it'd be nuts. I'd be going insane with the weather. Like, there would have been no way. And June is right around the time that you start your harvest. Uh, because you plant usually in, you know, for summer, summer wheat, summer corn, summer soybeans start coming out in June and July. They start getting ready. And there would have been no way we would have lost the whole harvest because we literally, like I said, we got, you know, 18, 19 inches of rain. And it would have just ruined the crop. It would have uh, flooded it out. It would have been horrible. So it's been fun. It's been fun weather year now being retired like i am it doesn't bother me as much the weather but i still pay attention i still watch it i mean that's the old farmer in me i still look up and i still notice when the harvest moon happens and uh you know my grandfather was te when he taught me when i was like seven eight years old uh my grandfather taught me how to drive a tractor and it was an old john deere 40 46 40 and i learned that at eight years old and he basically, my grandfather was so old school. Um, he was like, my grandfather was born in like 1899. So you're talking like a long time ago. And he was 84 when he passed away. And he passed away in 1984. So we used to pick on him. We're like, well, we know how old you are because we know when you were born. But he was so old school. So he said, uh, you got to, you know jump up on that tractor and put it in gear and go now keep in mind i was seven 
I didn't know anything about gears and tractors and all that stuff. And that was my introduction to farming. That was way before Dad uh, got me working on the farm. So I didn't start helping him until I was probably 12. Well, probably between 10 and 12. Which at 7 or 8, Grandpa's like, nope, nope, get on that. And then he, we graduated from just starting the tractor to driving it around the yard uh, to taking it down to the feed mill. I granted, like, 8, 9, 10 years old, you know, we used to hook up the, the wagon. You know the wagon that we own on the farm, that little uh, bale thing? Well, ours, Grandpa built sides on the side of it. So he would put lawn chairs in there, and we would give Grandma a ride. Like, and we'd go to the feed store, and Grandma and Grandpa would get in the back, and I would drive. Like I said, I was eight, nine years old, and I just couldn't believe I was going. Now, Grant, the the other thing is too is that what you keep in mind is where he lived was in the middle of nowhere. Like the nearest house was like way over there. So it wasn't like you're driving on main roads; it's like you're driving on dirt roads. But they had their little folding chairs in the back, and and I used to think it was so fast, and I don't think we were probably going more than probably 10 miles an hour, but to me, it felt like I was just flying, and it was the greatest thing in the world. But then Dad realized that Grandpa had taught me how to drive the tractor. Next thing you know, driving the tractor, doing what I had to. But like I've told you guys, you know, long, long, long before... I got my driver's license. I learned how to drive on the roads. I was, um, let's go up there and make sure that's done. I was driving a tractor. An old John Deere 4640. Gear shifter was on the handle. Or on the steering wheel. Alright, so that's done. Now we'll do the headland straight down. And then this will be done. And we can collect our money and I can wrap this video up. We'll just go straight down and we'll break up all these furrows going the other way and then we'll be finished. I really, really, really like this dirt on this tractor. And, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Just make sure you guys are continuing to like and subscribe and telling your friends. You know, I've got some big plans and the more, more people that we get on this channel, the better. I'm going to make this so much fun. Uh, but I'm glad one of the subscribers said that one of the newer subscribers was telling me that he enjoyed me driving around in this Ford that he had to download it. And that's what makes it all worth it. All right, and we're just going to have to. And now, normally, if the HUD was on, we'd have been long done. We'd have collected this money and gotten off. Because the, the oh, what do you call them there? Contracts in Farm Sim. Well, we're done. All right, let's fold this up, get up here, go to our contracts, and look at that, completed. So we just made $1,242 in 34 minutes. And there we go, and it is now 1138 as I drive over my field, which is something I never do. But we're going to go up here. I wanted to check this out, make sure this goes down to the field. This is the coolest little field. Yep, look at that. We can come straight down between our two fields, and we don't even have to open a gate. That's awesome. Right here, um, this on my regular metal grove is where I you can bring more manure and store it. So when our cows, I think after day two, let's see if each if each day equals a month. I'll have to figure that out, but we can start. I want to give them some straw as it starts to get colder. So we'll have to come in there and clean it out. And I'm going to wrap this up. This has been a longer video, 36 minutes. Long video. End it right here. When we come back, I'll wash it. And we'll try to pick up a contract for... We just did 22. Let's try to pick up a contract for 25 next time. Um, let's see where we're at. Contract. So I'll go ahead and get it now if it's one here. 
Uh, whoops. 25 is what we're looking for, right? Might not have one. That farmer might be cheap. Okay, so there's none for 25. Uh, let's see. 19 or 24. 19 or 24, real quick. All the way back up. 19 or 24. Nope. All right, so when we go, I got to get this wrapped up. When we come back next time, we will wash our tractor and we'll get another contract with one of the fields that's close, hopefully plowing, so I can just keep going like that and making us some money. Hi, balloon. Let's see if I can reach this up here today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, what's that? Hey, I've never been in here. What is this? What is that? Huh. Oh, we collect the milk. Awesome. All right, everyone. Check this out. We can overlook our farm. So, as usual, thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you guys are liking, subscribing. Oh, we already have our baler there, so we're all set. Uh, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing. Make sure you guys are looking out for yourselves, uh, looking out for each other, and most importantly, looking out for each other's families. That's super important, not only to me, but it should be to you guys. And just please, please, please enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And we're back on track now on this wonderful beautiful map and we'll start dropping videos for the next six seven days in a row and bada bing bada boom and on that note have a wonderful evening everyone and enjoy 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 and i'll catch everyone on the flip side